So I want to briefly mention this before the rest of the vlog continues, but basically in this vlog, we released a demo workout to one of Emily's bike classes because we recorded a bike class uh, last week like you saw in vlog one and we just gave it to them as like an unlisted video on YouTube so we gave them the link and we just did it as like a beta. So I've, I recorded this clip already but it got lost somewhere so I have to throw it in here into the vlog like this but enjoy the rest of the vlog I hope that gives you guys a little bit more context. Oh god. So I'm at the point in my life where uh I'm drinking coffee. Five in the afternoon. Right there. How lovely is that? So today we did in fact launch the free workout that we're gonna end up launching with our program. And I'm still waiting to hear if my boss got any feedback on it. It did get about 14 views, which I assume was the size of the class. So I'm actually eager to hear what they thought on this one. Good morning vlog. It's Monday morning. Didn't get off to the start I would have liked to uh, as I slept in a little bit on accident, but I do feel very refreshed. So I guess that's good. I'm gonna talk about my morning routine. So usually one of the first things I do is pour a cup of coffee have a glass of water and take a couple of vitamins that I take. So I take a multivitamin and I also take this supplement called Alpha Brain, which is like a vitamin for your brain. Then I sit down and drink my coffee. So the next thing I do after I drink my coffee and I'm a little bit more awake is I'll take a 10 or 15 minute time period just to meditate uh, and basically center myself for the day. So the reason I do this is because it helps me just deal with the anxiety that comes with being an entrepreneur, um, not knowing what tomorrow's gonna look like, trying to create stuff that doesn't exist already. It's just good to have your brain and your thoughts not going all crazy. So the way I center that in the morning is just meditation. So pretty much today is one of those days that's like super nothing going on, right? I have a philosophy for business that I've kind of come up with lately, which is that if you have a long-term goal um, to achieve something great, in this case, it's to build this business over at On Your Mark, the online platform that I'm documenting the launch of, right? There's gonna be a lot of distractions along the way, such as your friend making money off graphic design. I just talked to my friend, he's making money off graphic design and video and he's traveling. And I'm like, hmm, I could probably learn graphic design and start making money that way, incorporate it nicely into my business. But then I think, you know, that's a distraction from the long-term goal. For me to go out and learn graphic design, that would be a distraction from the path that I'm currently on. Not that it would be a bad thing to do, but it's not the goal, right? Another distraction could be somebody offering you a job for $18 an hour. This literally happened to me. I got a call and they, they a friend recommended me for a job and they were asking me if it's something I'm interested in. And I, I could probably fit it in. I could make some extra money from it but it doesn't go with my long-term goal of making money off of helping people with what I love, which is making content and making documentaries. So when you set these goals, it takes discipline not to like scrap what you're doing and try to go do something else. Like on a day like this where you have nothing to do. All there, there's no, I don't have any appointments I can make to make this business develop further. I don't have any calls I can make. Everybody's busy. My boss is out of town. There's literally nothing to do today. So it's one of those days where I just have to eat it and maybe plan some stuff, but it might just be one of those low key days where you don't have much to do. And those are the days where you, the discipline to stay on the, the course might be a little bit harder just because there's more things distracting you and you're looking for more things to do. So there's a little tidbit from kind of my experience being a business owner of the past year and a half or so.
Good. Abbott just made dinner. Thank you. A good one. Facts. It's super healthy. Not gonna lie, I just recorded that because I wanted to put something cinematic in this vlog, but. So, Abby and I, she just helped me write the first monthly documentary review that I'm sending out as a newsletter every month. So, if you're interested in getting on that, this month we're reviewing 13th, which is a documentary on Netflix. If you're interested in getting on that, email management at thuzi.com and we will add you to the list to get the monthly newsletter every month. It's a documentary review every month. We might even start putting out more content on there about documentary filmmaking and the likes. But go ahead and email the email right here if you're interested in getting on there because there's a lot of good content going out. Yay! Join it. So I was just on the phone with my guy, John Beneducci. So just to kind of give you guys a little context as to who he is, John is a mixed martial arts fighter. He's fought a, a, a bunch of professional fights. He's also a personal trainer. He lives in Brooklyn and him and I are gonna be making a documentary together. So him and I are planning on doing this in a few weeks. We actually, the original plan was to shoot in April, but because of coronavirus, that was obviously postponed. So now we're taking our sweet time making that happen. And that'll be another 90 day sprint or maybe even longer sometime after we launch this plan. So I just wanna sprinkle that in there because that's something that I've been working on for you know, about half a year now. And by the time we shoot, it'll probably be close to a year that we have been in the planning phase of that. So that's kinda of gonna be like my next big piece of art that I put out and I'm hoping that it can kinda of break me into the scene of the documentary film space. But obviously I have stuff to do before that happens and we're still kind of just getting ready for that initiative to take place. But right now I'm about to hop on a call with my boss, Emily, over at On Your Mark, and her and I are gonna talk about what's kind of going on for the next two weeks of phase one for our 90 day launch plan. I would say getting more workouts shot is more important because I already have Lucas on the podcast editing and then um, I'll have like, I don't need to be editing the podcasts as much, so it would be cool to have more so that I, like, when I have downtime, I can edit those while I'm gone and, and we don't get caught behind. Okay. Cool. And, but we got, like, we got, like, a really low um, average viewer retention. Like, people didn't stay on for that long. For the workout? Yeah. Really? Yeah, like, six minutes or something. It might have changed. Let me look. We got 16 minutes or 16 views. The, uh, the average retention was six minutes and five seconds out of 42 minutes, so that's not great. Wait. Huh? That's weird. Well, probably just because people weren't expecting that, I would guess. Yeah. Like, they... They did, a couple of people did not love the music, so I think we need to do the Spotify idea instead. Okay. That would be, if we can figure out how to make that work without any issues, that would be sick. I just, well, I think because of licensing, I'm just going to have to say, hey, head over to this playlist on Spotify. Right. Um, like, head over to our... Huh. Or I create a Spotify, on your mark Spotify channel. Okay, well, I have, an, I have Will's video, a rough draft of it, exporting. And I'll put it on Google Drive because he wanted to see it, and then I'll just send it to you as well. And okay. it has the 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 generic music behind it, so just ignore that. I think for those ones, it's okay. The bike is different, though. The bike is different because it's because well, people that take my classes are used to it being a little choreographed, you know. Uh -huh. So, so yeah, I'd love to see that feedback. Um, do, do you have any general? feedback at all that you could tell me now besides the music um i think some of your edits for the, the from the bike just from what i saw should be a little bit like if you spanned if you edited to the my legs pedaling it was on my legs for too long things like that yeah okay um 
that's cool. Just keep your edits a little bit shorter. If So I just talked to my boss, Emily. She's going to send me some feedback that was emailed to her about the bike class. We're going to make some tweaks. I'm going to share that feedback with you guys as soon as I get it. But things are moving kind of well, I would say. Next week, I might be doing a surprise trip to Oklahoma to visit my grandparents, which kind of throws off the planning just a slight amount. But that call was basically focused on making sure we don't get behind. So we're going to record a few videos this week and make sure that when I come back, the seven videos for the platform to launch that we have already will be perfect and ready to go so that we just need to focus on three to five more and then we can move on to phase two of my plan which I referenced in my last vlog. So if you haven't seen that one and you wanna keep paying attention, I would go check that out because we're gonna be following that plan hopefully to a T uh, and kind of maneuvering that to get this whole thing launched.